Symphony is an umbrella term for a sort of arts and education piece. The project started as a, uh, a simple question from uh, Charles Hoskinson, the IHK CEO. Um, he just asked the question, what does a blockchain look and sound like? Which is a very loaded question. Uh, so we, we, we set out really trying to answer that in the, the most creative way possible. There's going to be a series of virtual reality um, experiences and these are going to be loosely based around the stories and the narratives that happen in cryptocurrencies. So people arriving at the tour they will see uh, two virtual reality exhibitions and some augmented reality exhibitions. Uh, so there are, there are two experiences that people can go in. One is looking at the mempool which is concentrating on uh, the here and now within Bitcoin so that the, the live transactions that are being made uh, and another VR experience is looking at um, the entire history of the blockchain. Uh, so people will be able to explore this in virtual reality and be taken on a, a bit of a journey through it. Uh, we're also having some augmented reality sort of pop-up posters around, uh, so virtual sculptures if you will. So people um, just with a mobile phone will be able to uh, look at these posters and see these 3D models coming out and get a bit of context and explanation of what they're looking at. And we're hoping through these things we can start engaging with a community that probably wasn't familiar with cryptocurrency. It kind of brings that different aspect to taking in information. It's not just sitting there and somebody giving it to you, but you are inside of it and you can interact with it. In a, in a conventional setting, it's really difficult to try and understand a string of, a string of numbers but when you have something tactile in front of you that you can sort of interface with, it makes it so much more engaging. Yeah, it, it's, it's the kind of thing that makes you want to learn what's going on. The initial idea came from the idea that you can listen to planets in space and hear their movements, and then you can ascertain properties um, about those planets just from the sound. Um, so we wanted to see, can we, can we do the same thing with blockchain? Can we listen to a blockchain and hear things like the, the health of the blockchain, uh, the transaction density, and uh, the number of people that are using it? The notion of cryptocurrency in itself is incredibly abstract. People don't necessarily connect with data, it, although it's important. People connect with stories, people connect with other people, people connect with big sort of narrative pieces. And that's why framing these things through things that people can relate to is really important, really important because it, that's, that's fundamentally what people take home and they feel suddenly that they, they can own it. So it's bridging that threshold and making them feel like it is the people's thing. It gives them permission to be part of it. Cryptocurrency and Bitcoin uh, can sometimes have a bit of a negative connotation to the general public of people thinking that they're, they're just about um, people making lots and lots of money. Uh, but we really want to show this technology for, for what it really is and that's giving people self-sovereignty and real control over their, their own assets. So after the events um, in Bristol will be taking this globally, it's going to be going to the Miami Summit. We have the website, we're releasing an app, uh, we're releasing a series of um, AR augmented reality experiences through um, social media channels. Uh, it's a great feeling to see real people using this project that we've been working on for over a year now and we're really excited to take it on the world tour and just introduce it to this huge audience.